Hello, and welcome to this video about uh, running a new Linux operating system on a rather old computer. This is the old computer, if you can't tell. It, is, uh, it was made in about 2001. It's got an Intel uh, Pentium 4 1.6 gigahertz processor and about 750 megs of RAM. Uh, this, it doesn't have a USB booting, doesn't have a DVD drive, um, and uh, I, I recently, I just recorded a video about uh, uh, this same kind of thing, running the operating system, and that was for uh, Lubuntu. Uh, for this video in particular, we are going to be running this one, which is Antics 17.1. Here's the website. It was released in March of 2018, so that makes it just a little bit over, what, almost two months old now. And this computer that we're about to start working with is roughly 15 years old. No, more than 15 years old at this point. So let's just go ahead and boot it up and see how it runs. Let me get my tripod set up here while this boots. So uh, what I've already noticed because I, I just finished uh, messing around with um, the Lubuntu one is that uh, this operating system is quite a seems faster uh, in general. Um, again, it's called Antics and it's related to uh, another Linux distro called MX that was recommended to me as a, a distro to try for an old IBM ThinkPad laptop that I have, which I will do later. But for now, let's just look at how it fares on this desktop. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it's just about done loading. Um, and that's it. So as you can see, it looks very nice and clean. I really like that it has these uh, these displays here, right? And this is pretty much how it showed up out of the box. I haven't really uh, messed with it much. Um, I guess the first thing to try is how well this thing works with a word processor. So I have a couple, of, a few files on this thumb drive, which I'm going to plug in now. Okay, there we go. So. It should pop up momentarily, I, th I think. I hope. Oh, it was that it up there? Um, I can't remember if this was here before. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. I named it Files, so that got me confused. Okay. So let's start off by opening this PDF file. So uh, while I was on a Windows computer, I created a Word document, and then I saved it as PDF, which you can see here now. And I cannot shrink this any further, but this should be good enough. This is, and I'm just gonna scroll up and down so you can see it's had a title, it's got a couple of headings, it has this image here that's embedded into the bottom right of the first page, and that's all there is to it. So let me go back and open up the uh, docx file, the Microsoft uh, Word file now. And it's opening up in, what's this document, okay, sure, ignore file more. Um, so far so good, um, when I tried this in Lubuntu, I could not get LibreOffice to start, so this is a huge improvement already. Okay, and let's shrink this down, uh -huh. okay, I wonder if I can... Oh, yeah, zoom. There we go. Okay, so, so far it looks pretty similar. I got my table of contents, and oh, it looks like it actually, I can actually jump around in that. Well, let's, let's try that. Okay, I'm gonna hold down on control and click that. And yeah, okay, that works well. Oh, and look at that. That looks pretty good. Um, this doesn't look quite the same, but you know what, in general, in general, pretty good. Yeah, so as a quick test, let me just try and insert something here. Actually, maybe I'll create another heading. 
this is my new heading, and then I'll try to update the table of contents. This is something I wasn't able to do in uh, with the other uh, Lubuntu operating system. So I'm getting kind of excited to give that a try. So heading two. Okay, and then I'll go back up to here. And how do I how do I update this? So if I right click, update index, maybe. Is there? Oh, maybe it's this part. Okay, I mean, obviously, um, obviously, I don't use this program much. Or by much, I mean, you know, at all. Have not touched it in years. Uh, but you know, I'm sure the options here somewhere. But I'm not going to take the time to play with it further. Let's try and save it now. So I'm going to try and save as. Uh, okay, and I'll just go ahead and take change just to see how well it will work if I. And where's that getting saved to? Getting saved. Oh, let's not put it there. Let's stick it in. I don't know what these icons mean. I'm going to assume that means go up. Okay, up, 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 up to home. To here, to documents. Sure. Okay. Try and stick it there. Uh, confirm file format. Yeah, let's continue to save to this format. I just want to see if it's actually going to look the same relatively after I have saved it. Oh, what happened there? What happened to my heading? Oh, okay. Yeah, I noticed this one when, um, when I tried making a video like this uh, several years back where using the page up and page down seemed to fix some of the problems I was having. Okay, let me go, I think I had it here. Okay, and there it is. So let's see if it actually looks the same as what I think it ought to look like. Okay, so there's my heading number two, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's the same. And then scroll down, that's the new heading. Cool, okay, yeah. So that worked really well. And it actually loaded pretty quickly. I am I'm impressed with that. Okay, let's close that. Close that. So we'll move on to our next test, which is um, web browsing. So I am going to start with Firefox, which came uh, by default with this distro. After that, we're going to try Chromium, which I had to uh, install from uh, uh, the package uh, management system. Or Okay, so uh, as before, I've already I've already gone to YouTube before. I did that in an attempt to try to speed things up, you know, have some things in the cache. Whether that helps or not, I don't know. Um, okay, so I guess this is probably I guess the default home page. So let me just change that now, because so it looks like Firefox is mostly loaded. YouTube. Okay, auto complete. Sure. Okay, let's see how long it takes to get to YouTube from here. Uh, anyway, once we're there, um, then I, I will um, uh, copy and paste in a link directly to a specific video on YouTube. Actually, the, the one I made a few years ago about uh, putting Linux on older computers. Um, just to see how, to see how well it actually plays. I mean, this is just going to the website, and already this is pretty sad. It took a long time to get here. Uh, okay, but it's loaded. So let me go to. Uh, let's unplug it. I don't want to do that. Let me go back over here. Where did it? Oh, where did it go? Probably under media. Let me go here. Hopefully it's here. There it is. Okay, great. Yeah. And that's my link. I'll copy that and go back over here. Right click, paste, and go. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's playing. And yeah, there's my there's the my computer. Uh, and let me see now if I can 
Oh, what happened to the Let me see if I can click that. Because I was trying that with uh, Fire... Was it Firefox or Chromium on the other one? It didn't let me actually go into there. Uh huh. Yeah, that doesn't seem to work for me. Okay, all right. Well, let's move on. So, as you can see, it's it's. Oh, okay, there it is. So, <laughs> quality auto, one hundred and forty-four. <laughs> That's probably the worst one. Uh, but hey, at least it's playing. That's 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 something. Um. Okay, so I will go to Chromium now, which, as I understand, is the open source uh, version of Chrome. This one I had to install. And same thing. So first, once it's finished loading, and the loading is taking time. Is this done? I, th I think it's done. I don't know. I'm going to... Maximize that. Okay, I guess it's done. Now go to YouTube. Okay, all right, auto complete. That was way faster to get to the auto completion, but maybe because I didn't have a proper web page loaded up, because the other one was a forum. I, I don't know. Anyway, so loading the YouTube homepage now, and it's loaded. I think I guess because the reload thing stopped moving. Oh, oh, I already have that pasted, so I uh, copied rather. So let's go ahead and paste, paste and go. Uh huh, yeah. So far, it's about the same as using Firefox, it seems. Maybe I need to hit the play button. I thought it was going to autoplay, but it doesn't seem that way. So let's hit the play button. Uh, hmm. Not doing. Okay, there we go. Well. And okay, yeah, it is. It is playing now. Um, just FYI, there there is sound. This this computer does have sound, um, but uh, I don't have any speakers plugged in right now, that's why I don't hear anything. Uh, and I, anyway, I thought it would also be very distracting, because it would be my voice on top of my voice. That, I mean, that confuses me too. So that's it. Uh, that's it for the demonstration. Um, I, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I thought, I really thought uh, Chromium would be faster than Firefox, but it looks like it's not the case, at least not this time. Anyway, so I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, you can check out the Lubuntu um, uh, demo and uh, upcoming. Uh, I think I'll also create a video to show how to actually install uh, a live DVD uh, Linux distro on a computer when you don't have a DVD drive, which is the case for this computer. There, there is no DVD. Let me show you. There's, there's no DVD drive. There's just um, two CD drives, which is kind of funny. I didn't, I didn't actually realize that until uh, I, I put the disc in and, and nothing happened. And then, I, then I actually looked at the drive and I said, oh yeah, CD, not, not DVD. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Um, but yeah, I managed to get it working, and uh, it's not that bad is kind of fun to do so I, um, I'll be excited to to show you how to do that uh, and uh, yeah that's it so please if you like this like please do like and uh, subscribe so you can check out and uh, be aware of uh, more th videos I make as they come out and that's it so yeah yeah I, I, I would appreciate the thumbs up uh, so thanks and bye now <laughs>